Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. My name's Mary Claxton and I am the Colorado Director of Programs for Little Kids Rock. Today we're just gonna be playing a bunch of different beats uh, while body drumming. Keep in mind as we go through this, um, there are some song ideas that are gonna match up with different beats we're playing. Those might have a few variations in them, but um, they're songs that match up pretty well with the beats that we're learning. As you're um, looking through those songs and exploring them, make sure you talk with an adult to make sure that those songs are a good fit for you. Awesome, so we're gonna get started. Um, also keep in mind if you wanna play on a junk drum set or a real drum set to any of these beats, you can do that too. So let's cue up the first beat. All right, and I'm gonna move back so you can see me. So, this beat, let's start with the hands. We're gonna take our right hand, cross it over our body, our left hand's gonna go on our leg, and we're gonna go shoulder together. So, right together, right hand, both hands, shoulder, both hands. Perfect. All right, we got the hands. Now let's try to add the foot. So to start, let's do our bass drum, which is gonna be our right foot, and then our left hand. As we go through these beats, it's always fine to pick two different instruments instead of doing all three at the same time. So keep that in mind. All right, let's go back to our hands. Now, if you watched the junk drum set video, you'll remember we kind of sway during this part. We go foot, hand, foot, hand, foot. And we can do that swing to remind us what comes when. And then once you're comfortable, you can stop. Keep going, nice. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. One, two, three, four. Awesome. So this is about the speed of dynamite, the first song suggestion. So you're gonna, I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, hey, oh, baby, let's go. Yeah, there you go. Very good. So just a reminder now on this beat, the hand that's up here on your shoulder, it never stops. It's always going. Your foot is on one and three. One, three, one, three. And your hand is on two, three, four. So I like to think of my right hand as sort of being the motor that never stops. And that my bass drum and snare drum are alternating. And that helps me stay on track. Awesome. Now I'm gonna count down from four and we're gonna do a pretend crash. So four, three, two, one, crash. Let's try it again. Nice. And four, three, two, one, crash. So from now on, if I do a countdown like that, that means we're gonna crash. And after this crash, we're gonna stop. All right, here we go. A four, three, two, one, crash. You can give it that nice, like <laughs> Nice, very cool. All right, so let's look at our next beat. Very, very similar, but we're gonna go twice as fast in our right hand and we are going to do something that drummers call four on the floor, which means I'm playing my bass drum on every single beat. So rather than alternating, this also becomes a motor. It never stops. Our left hand's exactly the same. It's on beats two and four. Let's get our right hand going. This is our pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. Now remember our snare drum is going to be on two and four, so let's try to add that in. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Okay, let's shake it out. And now let's do our foot, our bass drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's slow it down just a little bit before we add in our snare drum, our left hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it might feel a little bit weird that they're working together now when we were used to them being opposites, right? So whenever your brain is like, doesn't, send the right messages to your limbs. I just say shake it out and jump back in. It takes everybody a few tries to get a new groove, no matter what. That's just the way our brains and our bodies work. So we just have to be patient and keep going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's see if we can put all three of those things together. And again, it will probably go and then it'll stop and you'll be like, ah, then have to rethink about it. That's totally fine. Just jump back in when you're in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now what I'm counting, those numbers, that's what my right foot's gonna be playing. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna keep going with this for a little while. And if you need to stop and shake it out and jump back in or pick two instruments to do instead of three right now, that's totally fine. It's not cheating to make it easier. It just kind of lets us get really good at one part of it um, so that we don't have to think about it as much. We build muscle memory. Nice. Two, three, four. All right. I counted up, not down. That's fine. You, hopefully you're with me. Okay, let's do that one, same one, just a little bit faster. Um, and we'll sing the bass line to Uptown Funk, which is one of our suggestions. So, about this fast. One, two, ready. Bum, bum, ba da, bum, ba da, bum, 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 bum. Awesome. There are a lot of songs, honestly, that use this beat. I could have used a hundred different examples, um, but a couple of good ones to get you started and then you can find a bunch more on your own. As you're listening to songs, um, whether they're in the background of a TV show or they're on the radio or your Spotify playlists, um, you can definitely start to pick those out and be like, oh, I remember playing that beat from body drumming. I know how to do it. You can even play along. All right, let's try another one. All right, this is our really standard backbeat. So if this last one was freaking your brain out, this one should be a nice breath of fresh air. It's really similar to the first one we did, except for we're going twice as fast on our right hand. Just like that. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now we're gonna alternate between the bass drum and the snare drum. Bass, snare, bass, Bass, snare, bass, snare. Very nice. I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. I can feel my face when I'm with you. 
But I love it. But I love it. This is another one that's in just like tons and tons of songs. Um, so be listening. All right, let's try another. Now, take a look at this graphic. And compared to the last one we just played, what instrument is the only one that changes? There's only one instrument that changes and only in one little place. Is it the hi-hat? No, solid all the way through. Snare drum, still on two and four. Great, love that. So it has to be our bass drum. Bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. That's gonna be our change. Bass, bass, snare, bass, Snare, bass, bass, snare. Try with me. Bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Awesome. Let's go back to our hands. Back to the one we've been doing the whole time. With the two and four in the snare drum. And say this with me. Bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, snare bass, bass, snare. Now let's see if we can add it in. Bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Keep trying it. Jump in and out if you need to. I'm happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine. In a bag, I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. I'm happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine. In a bag, I'm useless, but not for long. The future is coming on. That's Clint Eastwood. That's that first one. So if you're like, oh yeah, I know that song, you go listen to the rest of it. I also really love these other two examples here. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear. My world crumbles when you are not near. That's I try, love that one. Okay, let's do a crash. So I'm gonna count down, four, three, two, one, crash. Awesome. What is next? So another change to our bass drum pattern. So last time we were playing bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. This is just moved over a little bit. So it's going to come a little bit sooner. Bass, snare, bass, bass. Snare, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Play it. Bass, snare, bass, bass. One, two, and three, four. 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 Awesome. Uh, Back to our, you, you'll notice a lot of times what I, I do is I isolate that bass drum and the snare drum feeling, but then I start again with the hands. The reason that I prefer to do it that way is because having the snare drum on two and four and my constant hi-hat is where I have my muscle memory. And I think for a lot of us, that's where we build our muscle memory because there aren't as many variations on that, at least in a lot of these beginning grooves. So um, if it's easier for you on your own to do this and then just add in, that's great. But I find for a lot of people, it is easier to start with the hands because that's what we know a little bit better. So let's try that. Our normal, one, two, three, four. Bass, snare, bass, bass. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Let's speed up just a little bit. 
Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> There's that Pat Benatar. Very nice. Maybe you want to end up going back to just these two for a minute. And add back in your hi-hat. Four, three, two, one. Very nice. I think we got a few more here. Um, so hopefully some of these are starting to challenge you a little bit um, and we're just going to kind of keep adding in some new stuff. But if you need to pause and take a break, um, that's totally fine. Uh, it's sort of like learning, you know, music is a language and like any language, there's only so many new words you can learn in a day before your brain says, ah, that's enough, I'm full. So it's a little bit the same with drum grooves because you're creating all these new nerve endings and combinations that your body can do, which is so cool. Um, you're really expanding what's possible for yourself. Let's take a look at this one. This one is cool because the bass drum pattern goes on either side of beat three. I'm gonna be honest, if you've never done this one before, your brain might have like a moment and that's totally fine. It's gonna go one, Two and and four. One, two and and four. One, two and and four. One, two and. Another round of that. One, two and and four. 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 Awesome. So. Now let's try our hands. And let's just say it before we actually add in the foot. One, two, and, and four. One, two, and, and four. Boom, 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 boom. If these are coming fairly easy to you, one kind of stretch thing is to really think about how your limbs interact. For example, does my right hand play harder when my bass drum is going? And do I hold tension that way? Ideally, I want it to have no difference. So it's just nice and soft and steady. No matter what other instruments are playing, my right hand, the one that would be here, the one that's my hi-hat, is the same volume, same articulation the whole time. So that's kind of your stretch thought now that you're like, I'm getting it. All right. Give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn right back around Nice Give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn right back around Here in four, three, two, one Great! Alright, we got a couple more! This one's really fun. Um, if you didn't have the hi-hat in this one, it would basically be the drum beat to We Will Rock You. So, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. So that's one we're probably really familiar with and, and feels pretty natural. Um, so let's try putting it all together. Bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, We will, we will rock you. Okay, you got it? Bass, bass, snare. Bass, bass, snare. 
Cause I got the blue magic Yeah, I got the blue magic Yeah, I got the blue magic Yeah, I got the blue magic It's a really fun song. If you don't know it, definitely a good one to look at. Awesome. Now, just for fun, let's keep that beat going. And this time I'm going to count into that crash that we've been doing, the four, three, two, one crash. But you're going to go crash and straight back into the beat. Watch me do it once. Four, three, two, one crash. My bass drum foot still was doing the same thing. This is definitely like a stretch, uh, an extension. For those of you who want to start working on fills, just getting that crash and being able to go straight back into the beat. It's not so hard to get to the crash symbol, but to get back into the beat. So four, three, two, one, crash. Four, three, two, one, crash. One more. Four, three, two, one, crash. And we'll end after this one. Three, two, one, crash. Very nice. All right, so this is our last beat for the day. Um, and it's in a lot of really cool songs. Um, it looks like it's not as hard as a lot of the other ones, but it can kind of trip us up. No point, no pun intended with Trip by Ella Mae. Um, but let's try this one. So we're gonna have bass, snare, bass, snare. After you've been doing a bunch of stuff that fills up space, it can kind of be challenging to actually play something really simple like this. Let's keep that going just for a minute. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. <laughs> awesome. Great, now let's try it with our hands and we'll put it all together. Sing that bass drum part. Boom, boom. One, two, and. One, two, and. Add it in when you're ready. Very nice. Boom, boom. One, two, and four. One, two, and. Another kind of stretch once you get comfortable with this. It's common to want to rush the and of two, that bass drum, that second bass drum hit. <laughs> Look at me doing that. One, two, and. So sometimes, let's stop for a second because I want to demonstrate this and not trip you up. Um, uh, there I go, punning again. Okay, so a lot of people will go one, two, and. And they just want to get there like as fast as they can because they know it's coming up next. We want it to just be right in line with our motor. One, two, and. One, two, and. No rush. And same thing with our snare drum on beat four. And boom, boom. And down, boom, boom. Up, down, boom, boom. Up, down. 
So you'll see that my hand just moves up like half a beat before. And same with my leg if I'm doing, getting ready for that and of two. Very nice. Four, three, two, one. So I hope that gives you lots of ideas for different beats to practice, different songs to practice with. Um, and like I said, just keep listening to whatever is already on your playlist and see if you can listen and figure out, oh, does it kind of remind me of one of the beats I already know? Or is it really different? Um, so have fun with it, be curious, explore, um, and enjoy some body drumming. It's a great way to practice. So thanks for being with us here today. If you have any questions, you can email them to livestream at littlekidsrock.org. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, everybody.